What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. It's Tuesday. That means it's time for my DVD talk segment where I talk about the new films and um most TVs that's available now on DVD and Blu-ray. Alright, the big one it is Bad Boys for Life. The dirt of some of the Bad Boys uh, franchise that stars the likes of Will Smith and Ron Lawrence. Bad Boys for Life was awesome. You know, I saw it twice in the years. You know, it was pretty cool seeing Ron Lawrence once again back on the big screen. Uh, you know, Will Smith and Marlon Lawrence both had really great uh, comedic timing. You know, uh, Vanessa Hudgens was pretty great in this. I mean, DJ Khaled even has a pretty fun scene. If you guys had not seen Bad Boys for Life, go check it out. And, you know, they are working hard on fourth one. And as of right now, I'm not even joking. Bad Boys for Life is literally the highest grossing movie of the year. I mean, movie theater, well, you know, movie theaters have been close since uh, Mars. And also, obviously... This was a yeah, no um no brainer, but uh anyway. Also available, there's Guy Ritchie's The Gentleman, starring Matthew McConaughey, Colin Farrell. The Gentleman was awesome. You know, it was really funny. Uh, great cast. I mean, Charlie Hunnam, Henry Golding was great. Not really Guy Ritchie's best work or anything, but I know he did a really good job with this film. All right. Also available, there's a comedy like a boss. The comedy that starred the likes of Tiffany Haddish. Salma Hayek, uh, Rose Byrne, Billy Porter, Like a Boss, didn't really get great reviews, but I thought the movie was pretty funny. You know, Tiffany Hash and, uh, Rose Byrne both had great, um, both had a great chemistry for one another. You know, it was really, uh, fun, raunchy. Go, uh, you know, it's not really great or anything, but uh, it does have some, uh, some crazy moments. But I say go check out Like a Boss if you guys haven't seen that one. Alright. We're also available. There's the horror film The Turning, which also didn't get great views, but I didn't really know it was like it wasn't necessarily a great movie. But it wasn't as a steamy pile of uh who that most people may out uh may actually be. And I thought uh, the lead um actress in this, uh Mackenzie Davis was pretty good. It had some really uh cool, you know, scares. It's not really a great film, but I didn't hate it as much as most people did. All right, there's also the uh, war, um war based film, The Last Full Measure, starring the likes of Sam Jackson, Sebastian Stan, uh, Ed Harris, the late great Pierre Fonda. Last Full Measure was pretty decent. Uh, great performances. I mean, Pierre Fonda. I'm not even joking. If the Oscars was held. Even though Pierre found the past and all, if the Oscars was held this week, I'm not even joking. I'll actually give Pierre Fonda the best appointing actor nomination because he was actually that good in this. So yeah, if you guys haven't seen The Last Full Measure, pretty good film. All right. Also available, there's a it um the you know recent uh, It Man film with uh, Donnie Yen, which was a uh, It Man uh, for the final. Um, there is C the uh, horror film Sea Fever, which got a uh, VOD release uh, like last week, I believe, and now it's uh, going to uh, digital today. I have not seen uh, Sea Fever, but I should check that one out. I heard some pretty good stuff about. Then there's the Hulu uh, series Looking for Alaska, which I haven't. I still haven't seen that show, but I heard some pretty good stuff about. It is based on the uh, book by. Uh, by the same author of Fought in Our Stars. And I should probably give this uh, series a shot. I still haven't checked it out yet, but uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me leave show you guys. Which of these are you interested in either owning or renting? Are you interested in Bad Boys for Life, The Gentleman, Like a Boss, Turning? Is that it? Drop your comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. This here is Timu signing off.